Okay, guys. Like all the other maintenances, the next thing I am I always am concerned about are the brakes. As you see earlier on, guys, I, I did a, uh, you know, a brake line flush, so that's pretty good. Take a look at my brakes. Now, let me show you what it should look like. I'll bring it over to, to show you guys the difference. Okay. So these, I got on Amazon's actually. They're Bendex. I, I bought a few stuff from them before, but never breaks. So so I, I want to try it out. Okay. I'll definitely post the, uh, oh, actually here it is. The Bendex number. I'll post it on, on the description anyway. But look how thick that is. Now, look how small that is. So that is at towards the end. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna take, I'll show you guys how I'm doing it for the back, and then later on I'll show you guys how I do it for the front, all right? So the first and foremost, right? So here's the pressure, here's the post, right? Here's the brake sensors, and then this clip right here, so the first thing, first and foremost, we need to remove this clip, okay? And it just takes a small little um, pull, and this clip will come out. Pay attention to that clip in that hole because later on when we put it back, we got to make sure it's in the right spot or else it's going to be a pain in the butt to try to hunt down. Okay, so pay attention to that. So first things first, let me take the clip out, okay, and then we'll go from there. So ideally, you'd want to take out the wear bar um, connectors, right? Unfortunately, sometimes it's just not as easy as you think. Now, let me see if I, I can try, okay? If not, what you could do is, um, you could do this. You could actually remove the pin first, okay? Which will push this out a little bit, um, and then we'll have a little bit more room to work out of, okay? So all, to do this, just, just just get yourself a small little screwdriver and, and a hammer, and just tap lightly. Don't, don't, don't go crazy. Don't go crazy, okay? And then uh, we'll go from there. So here's the deal, guys. These things are on pretty tight, okay? Um, I was able to loosen this one up and as you can see it's scraping a little bit the fear I have is this side is pretty much worn out so what I did was I took this right um, oh before I even did that as a precaution I mean so what I've done was was I've uh, taken off the cap because the fear I have is 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 you know here's the deal these are so worn out right and the new ones are so thick so, in order to um, make sure that you can put the thick one in, you'd have to clamp this back in, right? To, to, to push all the pistons in, in order to get it out, in order to get the new ones in. At the same time, as you're pushing that, there's a decent amount of pressure back to the line, all the way to the front. Therefore, that's the reason why I, I open that up. The fear I always have, and, and this is just old school, but the fear I always have is that if that's on and that's on tight and I push too hard, I could actually burst any of the uh, pipes. Do you know what I mean? So I've taken, I pushed it far enough, I believe, that I've taken it out comfortably, right? Likewise, this is coming out nicely too. What I'll do is, is I'll check to make sure that I can put it on, all right? Um, and I'll, I'll take a look at this wear bar. See how it's already in there? That's the reasons why it's so hard to get out. The other thing to consider, guys, is is um, I don't have any of the... I noticed that this didn't come with any kind of brake pad grease. But if you do, always slap it to the back to where the pistons are pushing out. Because that will help you um, take stuff out earlier. Unfortunately, I don't have any. So I'll make do with what I can. Alright? So what I'll do is, is I'll take these apart. And I'll put a new one in its place. If it doesn't work, what I may have to do is put a the old ones back in push it some more so i can have enough clearance to put the new ones on all right all right this is in place what we need to do now is find the hole for the wear bar just make sure it goes in behind this wire right wear bar sensor should be somewhere around near where that hole is all right and there we have it, guys. The only thing left is to press the brake a few times. All right? Cool. Thank you, guys. I'll show you another video another time.